Hey! Hey, it's uh, been a while, but decided to make a load today. Uh, since my last video, I really haven't uh, gone to the yard maybe a couple times. However long that's been. But uh, today, doing some motors. Um, some aluminum. There's some cast in there too, but they're buying it just the same. We're going to try and go ahead and sneak that in there. Maybe. I called them up once about tabs and they offer three cents a pound. So that's kind of weird. Some stainless. We got some brass on that, but hopefully I just get clean stainless for all that. There's some zinc in here. The nice rainbow color stuff. It's not quite aluminum, not quite stainless. Let's see what else. I'll show you guys around. So normally when I'm breaking stuff down, I have totes of tin. So that'll all be tin right there. So, yep, more circuit boards. I'm just mixing up circuit boards for a later date in life. That's where the tin bucket usually goes. Some dirty brass in there, some radiators. Copper, I keep getting buckets and buckets of short steel. Low grade wire price that jump. That way I don't have to cut plug. My communication cat cable. Some number one insulated. Dirty aluminum jumps over here. Some oddball stuff still. Some batteries I will pull into the truck here. Some good stuff. Those annoying things. Here's some sheet copper I pulled from the side of the road. Some good freebie stuff out there lately. Um, some leftover brass that doesn't really fit in the five gallon bucket underneath over there. I have some POTS lines, Plato telephone lines, older, older lines. I'm not sure what they'll grade that. But I'm saving that for the copper yard. Some sealed units. Gonna have to bring those in too. I'm gonna have to pull these out. Yep, that's tin. Pretty much all of it. The stuff in the middle ends up in the middle for processing. I should probably put that over here too, that dishwasher. Ended up with this natural gas tank. I'm not, don't know what I'll ever do with this. Just lots of tin. Stuff I keep breaking down. And I started off with a wall back here and then I started throwing stuff in the corner. Cut to the lawn. Long bed rail stuff over here. So it stays out of the way and it creates a little space, honestly, to uh, mess around. I think there's a dump truck over that way. I've been turning and burning a lot of these. This wall will go away every couple weeks. Um, lots of students and a lot of drinking. Five cents a piece. More stuff I don't know what I'm gonna do with. Like these tanks in there. This uh, pump, portable pump. Pacific Marine, something. Pretty sure it came from a guy that fought wildfires out in the out in the west there some more stuff I got to process there might bring some of that crap right there we're just waiting for we're waiting for New York to just say screw it and uh, everything's returnable bring it in crushed otherwise you know and any container drinking container how about that we'll see if that ever happens Here's my dirty aluminum pile. Small pile. Pretty neat sign. Sign that a lot of us probably see every now and then. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and take this in. Stay tuned. Oh, hold on. Here's the short steel pile. It's growing pretty well. 
Got that press there. That wire's been there forever since it moved in. Some more tin kicking around over here. Okay. I think that uh, portable circular saw is there, right? Because I got a ceiling fan over there. Just throwing them. Can't really move this box. Because I, I think I have a treadmill motor in there. That's what it is. There it goes. about my cast but I'll just chuck it there in case it is a problem
pit stop before we quick little pit stop from the house going back to the house I get rid of one and I get another okay if you're all uh, interested in prices this is what I got here it's central New York thanks for watching